It looks like a crime scene, but the St. Charles gas station is closed for cleaning. As we mentioned earlier, an effort is being made to track down anyone who may have come in contact with a worker there who tested positive. That's one of many issues the county executive of St. Charles County is dealing with right now. And Steve Elman joins me here on Five on Your Side. Steve, thanks for joining us. You issued a stay-at-home order for St. Charles County. Only essential businesses remain open, but you did not specify which businesses are essential. How come? So I think that's a decision that uh, I trust each of our uh, citizens to make on their own. Everybody's unique. Everybody has different needs. Uh, I um, want them to go ahead and decide what they think is essential. I want them to stay away from the non-essential places. I think there's uh, it just it's just very difficult uh, again when government starts making those decisions. I'd rather the people decide for themselves, send a message to businesses that are not essential, and have them close on their own rather than the government telling them to close. I mentioned that a St. Charles gas station employee from the Circle K on Elm Street and 370 tested positive. Where do we stand on tracking down the people who might have come in contact with him? Well, that is something our epidemiologists have been working on all day, and uh, they've been doing a tremendous job. We have, uh, we have 15 positive cases now in the county, and they have tried, uh, they've interviewed people and tried to find out exactly who they've been in contact with and then contact those people and advise them uh, that they, in many cases, need to be quarantined. President Trump has indicated that we'll need to get the economy going again soon and we might have to relax these stay-at-home orders. What's your feeling? How long can we sustain this? What I would really like uh, to be able to tell you and my constituents is that we have been able to test everybody that needs to be tested. Right now, um, our, um, we're at 15 positive in St. Charles County with 400,000 people. I think St. Louis County, which has uh, 900,000 people, has probably seven or eight times as many positives. I don't think the demographics between the two counties are that different. I think what's different is perhaps they've had more people tested in St. Louis County. Um, it's a problem for me because, yeah, some would argue, well, we don't need to be as strict out here as St. Louis County because we don't have as many cases. That may be true. I hope it is. But it also may be just a situation where we haven't tested enough people to find out how many we actually do have. And if we could get everybody tested, then we could start looking to see if that line is still going higher or perhaps if it's starting to level out or, or hopefully go down soon. And then we'll have a better idea when we can get this economy moving again. Steve, we know you're busy. Thanks for your time. Stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll be right back.